dog water allowance that is a dwa well first let me define what is a dog water we know that the fresh water density is 1 ton per cubic meter or a relative density is 1 and also the salt water is having 1.025 ton per cubic meter and the relative density of salt water is 1.025 well any water which lies between these two limits is called dock water let me repeat it so any water which is having the density between 1 and 1.025 will be called as a dock water now let us understand this concept that a vessel can be loaded up to summer load line that is the upper edge of the summer load line i think just let me just mark here upper edge of the summer load line and we say that the density is 1.025 however we also know that this is f mark in fresh water we can load up to f mark and here the density is 1 so we know the difference from 1 to 1.025 from here to here if the vessel is say somewhere here and goes down to this s mark so this diff this vertical distance is called fresh water allowance since the den dock water density is between 1 and 1.025 so we can say say uh, the density is somewhere here and if the vessel was in dock water the vessel will be somewhere here at the green line and when it comes to the salt water she comes to this level she rises and it comes to this level and this distance is called dock water allowance well we can understand that dock water allowance is a fraction of so fresh water allowance why because this is a fresh water allowance this one is a fresh water allowance so the dock water allowance is a fraction of a fresh water allowance now we can define dock water allowance as this is the number of millimeters required to change the ship's a main draft when vessel goes from salt water to dock water and vice versa when loaded up to summer displacement well in case of fresh water it was from salt water to fresh water i mean fresh water allowance so in case of fresh water allowance vessel goes from salt water to fresh water the change in the draft is called fresh water allowance however in case of dock water allowance when the vessel goes from salt water to dock water and vice versa the change in the mean draft is called dock water allowance now let us revise this concept once again so vessel is in salt water here and here the density is fresh water so if the vessel was in fresh water like this and comes to salt water this distance is fresh water allowance well as the dock water density is between 1 and 1 1.025 so let me just mark here this is the dock water density so if the vessel was floating in dock water and she comes to salt water like this so this distance is going to be dock water allowance so we can say that dock water allowance is a fraction of fresh water allowance well this helps us to calculate the draft say for example here if the difference between just let me scroll it up if the difference between fresh water and salt water is this one we have fresh water allowance however if the difference between dock water and salt water is this we have a dock water allowance so 
the change in the draft is directly proportional to change in density let me put it this way so change in drafts is directly proportional to change in relative densities rds or densities so well i can write like this dock water allowance divided by fresh water allowance is the change in density from dock water to salt water divided by change in density from fresh water to salt water this one change in the density or simply i can write like this density of salt water or rd of salt water minus rd of dock water divided by rd of salt water minus rd of fresh water well it is the difference so whether i subtract from fresh water to salt water or from salt water to fresh water it is going to remain the same so rd of salt water we know it very well it is 1.025 and rd of dock water has to be between fresh water and salt water divided by now this part which is rd salt water is going to be 1.025 and fresh water we know which is 1 so this gives me a relationship that 1.025 minus rd dock water divided by 0.025 is going to be dock water allowance divided by fresh water allowance now all i have to do i just just need to bring fresh water on right hand side so i may write like this dock water allowance is equal to 1.025 minus rd dock water divided by 0.025 multiplied by fresh water allowance and this is a very very useful formula just let me mark this we can also use this formula if i multiply uh, both the sides by 1000 like this 1025 minus rd dock water in the multiple of 1000 divided by 25 for easy reference multiplied by fresh water allowance so this is a dock water allowance well dock water allowance is nothing but change in the draft so sometime i may write the formula like this change in the draft is equal to change in the in the densities change in relative densities divided by 25 or 0.025 multiplied by fresh water allowance and this change in the densities is in multiple of 1000 so let us understand this problem that a vessel of fresh water allowance 200 fresh water allowance 200 mm goes from water of rd 1.018 to water of rd to water of rd 1.0 0.06 so vessel goes from this water to this water find the change in draft so we need to find the change in draft well we have just calculated this the change in uh, draft is going to be change of rd change of rd divided by 25 multiplied by fresh water allowance so now change of rd is 1018 to 1006 and then i can multiply it by 1000 so 1018 minus 1006 is going to be 12 only so i use this 12 divided by 25 multiplied by fresh water allowance which is 200 so i get this 96 mm well this fresh water allowance was also given in mm 200 mm so what happened since the rd of water has decreased the vessel has gone 
from high density let me just scroll it up to make it more clear from high density to low density if the low density will not be able to support the vessel will sink and if the vessel will sink the draft will increase so the draft will increase and that explains the application of this formula